Every time you go online and you want to search about how to run an online business, chances are you're going to run across building funnels. And to be honest, I've used funnels on my channel, on my website. It's been successful, but there's one thing that I really like, and that is to really do the math behind the funnels. And this has been my drawback. Uh, sometimes I would put it across as maybe a fear because I don't want to know the figures. <laughs> I just want everything to just work. So in today's video, I'm going to be using a software that allows us to predict and add figures in, realistic figures, and predict how our funnel is going to perform. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, I haven't been really sticking to this. So this is going to be a uh, mini series where we go and uh, create a forecast on how a funnel is going to perform, build actual funnel, and then add all the elements that we need in the funnel. And then finally, we are going to see if we reach those numbers that we predict in the first stage, which is this video. All right, guys. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take a look at our software and see what figures we can add in to predict our funnel. All right, so the software I'm gonna use uh, is called uh, Geru. So we're going to start with a brand new project. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here, we're gonna click here on this plus button and add our new project. Uh, what should we call this? Uh, let's call this freebie, okay? So this is going to be our funnel. We're gonna save that. All right, so now we have a blank slate. So this is how we're going to start to add all our information together. So if you watched one of my videos when I spoke about funnels, I mentioned that one of the most important parts is the traffic. So this is what we need to establish right on the get-go. All right, so the first thing we're going to add here is our traffic. So I'm gonna click here, and this is going to be our traffic entry. So in this example, we're going to be using YouTube ads, okay? So I'm gonna double click here. And now this is going to give us all our information that we need. I'm going to click here on add new. So we're just going to say YouTube, okay? Traffic entry one, and then our traffic sources. I'm just going to go down. In fact, let me search for it. And here we go, YouTube ads, monthly visitors. So we can decide how many monthly visitors we're going to need here. So I'm just going to add 10,000, okay? <laughs> Just to start off with, we're going to be playing around with these numbers as we proceed with this tutorial. All right, so acquisition type, uh, clicks. Yes, we need clicks. Cost per click. So if we come over here, actually YouTube uses cost per view. So this is what we're going to be using and it's 0 0.3, okay? So we're gonna come over here and add our 0 0.3. Excellent, so now we can save. So that's our traffic source. We're gonna close this. So what we're going to need next is the actual landing page. Where are people going to go when they see this ad that we're going to create, or this video that we're going to create? So this needs to be our landing page. So let's go ahead and add it. All right, so the page we're going to need here is a landing page. So I'm going to choose my content page and add it here. Great, so let's connect these two just by dragging that. And now these two are connected. All right, so the next page is going to be our upsell. So I'm gonna drag it over here. Now here it says we need to add our product first. So let's add our products. So I'm gonna click here on add new. So our product here is going to be our web design course. So I'm just gonna call this web design course. Right, so this course is, um, in fact, let's make sure that we choose the right item here and that is our online course. The price here is going to be 197 and it's going to be a one time. The refund rate, let's just add 1% for now. And then product cost, I'll just leave it at zero because we don't have any cost to that. So I'm going to save. All right. So as you can see, our product has been added here. So that's great. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our upsell. Okay, so making sure these two are connected. So this is going to be our main page where we're going to give away our free WordPress course. And then this is going to be our upsell. And then we're going to need an order page, an order form like that. And then finally, we're going to need a thank you page. There we go. So we have all our stages in place. So we have our freebie here. We have also our upsell. 
And then we have the order form. And then finally, we have a thank you page. So this is just a basic, basic funnel. All right, so the next step now is to add our conversion rate. So this is the prediction of how many people are going to take an action when they land on our page. All right, so let's go and add this in. So over here now, this is our main page, our opt-in page. So we're going to add our call to action. And for our conversion rate here, let's add, I'll say about 6% and then click on save. Okay, so that's the first step. So 6% or 6 out of 100 people that go onto this landing page after see after they see the ad are going to sign up for our free product, okay? And I know this is a bit uh, way too low because usually when you give something away for free and it's something away that you're giving for value, usually the opt-in rate is very high. So it could be as close as 40%, okay? So let's start off with these first and then uh, proceed and see how this works out. All right, so moving on. Now over here on the upsell, not a lot of people are going to be buying. So let's be very conservative here. Let's go with 2%, okay? So 2% are going to be buying our web design course. I'm going to hit save. Right. So now over here on the checkout page, uh, pretty much, you know, everyone who is going to go on that page, uh, they're going to buy because they've decided that they want to buy anyway when they've got here to the upsell. All right, so pretty much here we, are, we have our thank you page and that's it. All right, so let's hit simulate and let's see <laughs> how things are working now. All right, so are we going to make a profit or not? So this software is going to work things out for us. Okay, so if I scroll down here, you can see straight away we've made a loss of 663. And that sucks, to be honest, because this is crazy. How are we making a loss? And this is the reason why I don't really want to go into the figures of these funnels because... If I start seeing stuff like this, it's going to demotivate me and it's just going to make me just fear uh, trying to uh, run my funnels. Okay, so uh, let's have a look here and see what we can uh, fix and uh, what we can do here. So over here now, the cost of our traffic is going to be 3000 because remember, it's uh, 30 cents per click or per view. So our traffic here is going to cost us quite a lot. So what we're going to do here is we're going to adjust uh, the conversion rate here, because usually when you say download my WordPress course for free, chances are, you know, 40% or 50% are going to download it for free. Okay. Cause you're giving it away for free. So let's adjust this and add our 50% here. Okay. You hit save. Now let's see what happens when we simulate this. And hopefully this should uh, make a change now to our profit. Now look at that. So just by running uh, these figures based on 50% opt-in and 10,000 views, this is going to make a monthly profit of 16473 Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, Mac, you're crazy. You think you're going to make that money? Well, why haven't you made that money if you can predict all this? And true, I agree 100%. The thing is, is that fear. I have this fear of looking at figures because if it doesn't work out, then I've lost a lot of money. So I just try to just go blind. And to be honest, it's not a really good way of doing business. So you really have to uh, work with the figures, tweak where things need to be tweaked. And that is how you're going to be able to uh, make your online business work. So in this case, I'm giving away a free course, a free WordPress course. In fact, it's already created. It's on my website, funnels to income.com. Now, the next step is to create uh, an ad that's going to go with it. So the ad is just pretty much going to say, hey, I have a free WordPress course. You know, this is what you're going to get in the course. It's absolutely free. Go ahead. Here's the link. Go and download it or go and sign up for the course. So that's what the ad is going to be. So depending on how that ad is going to perform, uh, like we said here, 50% are going to, or we hope 50% are going to opt in. So if they do, uh, opting for the course and only 2%, only 2% buy the course. That means I technically should be making about 16,473 uh, profit. Okay. So let's reduce, let's go here on the traffic and reduce, because to be honest, I don't have uh, this 3,000 on uh, that, uh, that I can spend on, uh, spend on traffic. So let's double click here, go back in here and uh, let's work out our traffic. So instead of 5,000, all right, uh, instead of 10,000, let's go with 5,000. Okay, let's hit save and close. Now, let's simulate this and see what this does. Okay, so my traffic cost now is going to be 1,500 and my profit here is going to be 
8,237. Okay, so we are going to be basing our funnel on this. Now, just as a quick note here, notice that everyone who is going to opt in here is going to be added onto our mailing list and this is going to be 5,000 people. So imagine 5,000 people. You can then uh, promote other products, future courses, discounts, Black Friday deals and so on because these guys are now on your mailing list. So running a funnel like this and also building the leads as you go is a very, very, very powerful strategy. So this is what we're going to be implementing on this funnel. I'll be sharing all the figures with you, the performance, how we're going every day or pretty much or every week uh, just to see if we are quite close to these numbers. And if this works, guys, I'm telling you, this is it. I'm going to be pretty much focusing on um, pushing this because I don't want to create uh, tutorials based on uh, theory. I really want to implement uh, this stuff. So I am going to be implementing this and it's going to be amazing. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.